Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Al and today we are finally playing with the werewolves game pack. I finally downloaded it a few days ago. I am late to the game, but I decided to make a speed build video to start off because I really want to do a let's play. I know everyone's doing a let's play, but I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> and hopefully it will be fun and a little bit unique who knows but anyway i am building an abandoned shack today on again the lot that everyone is also building on because it's the starter home lot but that's okay so first thing that i did was i'm just figuring out the size and i want it to be small um i definitely wanted to use the new wallpaper and the new roof paint which is amazing and i love it so much I love how it has the see-through parts of it so the light comes through the building and for my let's play I'm going to kind of do like a rags to riches kind of a thing as well um, I'll talk more about the character when I do get the first episode out but basically she's kind of leaving home she's kind of running away from her old life and coming to this new town that she's heard a little bit about and the only place she can afford is this lot this um, property that's been abandoned for a while and uh, so she moves in and you'll see at the end that it's whoever was here before uh, left all of their stuff and it's been abandoned for a while so she's gonna come in and move into this this shack so I know I mean the aesthetic of the pack is very run down and grungy as you guys probably know if you've seen any other videos on this pack and a lot of people are doing like shack or cabin builds or trailer builds um, but I mean the pack lends itself so well to doing that so why not um, plus it just kind of fits like the story that I want to do so I am using the new columns and just trying to find the like most grungy looking things um, to add on to it so I ended up going with the cottage living fence actually I was gonna use the werewolf one but I liked the cottage living one better I'm trying to kind of match all the browns or at least so they go together well and I, I found a few images of shacks online that I'm using for <laughs> Uh, inspo so one had a porch like a really small porch like this that I liked so I added that on and um, yeah so <laughs> the other thing is I liked this foundation too because it's kind of just looks looks like it's like cheaply propped up almost um, so now I'm trying to find the floor for the porch which I use cottage living again and then for the windows and doors I use the new pack so I also wanted to say that I am not a builder i've built a few things but i'm i'm not great at it and you can see me struggling here to try to delete this wall <laughs> so i should make a whole new room because i wanted the ceiling gone so you could see the light coming through the roof anyway so i struggle a little bit with like matching the roof up and like getting it to look even a little bit okay but then i was like whatever it's a shack i don't really care um, I'm more of like a decorator and that's kind of what I enjoy doing most and I spend a lot of time decorating the land around this shack and the inside and just trying to get the aesthetic that I want so there's a lot of stuff on this lot uh, even though it's really small and I spent a long time doing the landscaping and everything um, and this isn't really a huge expansive house build obviously because it's a shack so that was okay with me because I'm not again that experienced with building um, nice looking things so kind of worked out um, and then I liked this roof paint color I thought it was kind of interesting so I picked that and then the red windows and doors really went well with it um, so now jumping forward because I started putting things down on the lot going through build by and then realized it wasn't recording <laughs> classic rookie youtuber move right there uh, but I didn't really do you didn't really miss anything because I didn't really do much I just was taking things out of the catalog and putting them in the yard so I hadn't really laid anything out yet so you didn't really miss anything um, I did 
also do that for the inside though. So I did lay, or not lay out, but I did plop a lot of things inside the shack. So we'll go in there in a bit and you'll see what I did. So sorry, I messed up a little bit, but I will. Um, so now I am starting to go through the immense catalog that is debug and pulling out the stuff that I want. And um, it's a mess in the yard right now. This is not how it stays. <laughs> but I wanted to find some trees and some bigger like more scraggly bushes and I knew there was a lot of trash in there and like run down things so I was pulling those things out. Um, so like I said this person whoever it was that lived here before um, kind of up and left maybe they became a werewolf and ran away I don't know uh, maybe Greg lived here before and then moved farther into the wilderness into a, a trailer who knows um, but I like I said their yard is like a junkyard basically so I put some rusted cars down and like the grass growing up all around them inside of them old tires the new bonfire um, I also placed down some garden plots what are they called um, whatever garden beds <laughs> and um, some other random junk I found like the barrels from Strangerville I think and um, now I'm like trying to make this lot look really overgrown and unkempt so I'm putting vines on the side I do more of that in a little bit and again more scraggly bushes and trees and stuff like that then I find all the broken furniture like the dresser and the stove and the fridge door and I'm like yep putting those in the house for sure so I pulled those out and um getting some more debug trees just to look like it's emerged kind of into the forest the rest of the land and i it's kind of cool i got this tree to be like way off the lot because it came in a group of three so i like stuck it on the very edge and that kind of helped fill it out a little bit kind of cheated my way outside of the lot boundary a little bit which is kind of nice and these things from cottage living these little like tufts of flowers and stuff are so nice to like kind of just get a random looking yard and because they're so spread out so I put some of those down more little grass tufts from cottage living this leaf pile I put down and then could not delete so I think my sim's gonna have to rake it up if I want that gone so it's just there um, I found a rusted bike in debug which is really cool some dirt piles um, more trees and this one I do the same thing I like swing it around so it's like way off the lot and I was like yeah that's kind of nice because you can't ever really do that with things so um, again just trying to fill it out a little bit blend it in with the surrounding landscape and then I start to find some other stuff to put in there like these covered logs and um, just a bunch of junk I find trash piles and I put those down um, I found let's see what else did I find like a cone or something I don't know um, the other thing that I did use was a CC pack a very small CC pack by Rabashine I think it's like the rags to riches starter kit or fabulously filthy or something like that where it comes with like a broken fridge that's functional like a mattress bed um, like a compost toilet and stuff like that so I thought those things would definitely be left in the house and those things would make more sense than a very nice looking fridge like we have in game so I did download that and used that CC pack for this but I believe that's the only CC that I ended up using in this build the rest is debug and just regular game stuff so yeah um, now I'm doing some more landscaping <laughs> I just I went crazy on trying to find little like patches of grass and bushes and mushrooms and like all this stuff to kind of blend out the landscaping and I took a long time on that it was fun but I definitely took a long time um the fence in the front is also debug I believe the fence is actually from the werewolf pack debug and so I kind of put that broken fence around like it had fallen down over the years no one was repairing it um, and you can kind of see the inside and I'll I'll show you that in a second um, so I kind of did do the layout on the inside but I 
will show you that. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I did find this other broken fence from pets, pets, cats and dogs um, debug as well that I just put a piece of it in the back. I don't know. I'm just really trying to find random stuff. Now I'm putting these flowers all around. Just again, trying to blend out the landscaping. Nothing super fun here. Um, oh, I found a few dead plants in build by or debug and put those on the porch like someone just left those there there's a bee box um of course not full right now when my character gets in there she might put some bees okay so now we're inside so um sorry if this is going too fast by the way but i didn't want it I wanted to be too long um so i have this fridge that's cc and then everything else is um debug like the the stove and the fridge door and stuff and then I thought that she would maybe have brought a pillow from wherever she came from before and so I put that there oh there is a couple more pieces of CC dang okay well this little TV tray is actually from the Animal Crossing game that someone made into CC it's so cute so I just put a couple more pieces of CC I think actually the fireplace is also CC because I was the only one that looked like semi rusted so I put that in there and then the table is also CC from the Robertine pack. Um, and then I, of course, put the new curtains up on the window. Like, again, someone just left those there. Um, everything's disgusting in here. There's trash left in here. Run down bathroom and everything's disgusting. So now, as you can see, I kind of laid out everything already. Um, I'm changing the colors of some things. I'm indecisive about the flooring and the walls, but I keep them as they are. <laughs> um, the new flooring is from the Werewolves pack. And again, I just try to pick every, all the swatches that look the nastiest. And uh, so now I'm putting some floor cracks and stains on the floor from, I think, Strangerville. And the cracks are from the new Werewolves pack and scratch marks. Um, so maybe the person who, knew who lived here was a werewolf. Um, and then the uh, spider webs are from vampires and some of those things I'm putting on the wall right now the rips and tears are from vampires pack as well again I just I like went ham on making this nasty <laughs> so more scratches more cracks more rips and gouges and things just to gross it up um, that cracked mirror, I used the cracked mirror from the werewolves pack, but then the smaller one is also from the Ravishing CC pack. Um, the crate and the table are from there. The pizza box is from that pack. The cardboard thing on the floor is from that pack. So a lot of good stuff in that pack for a rundown abandoned build like I was trying to do. So here I was trying to figure out the lighting and what lighting I wanted and I just used that one singular light bulb from laundry day i think and i put the strangerville light bulb out on the outside for outdoor lighting and now i'm getting a chimney so it makes sense with the fireplace that's inside and just pick one that kind of matched my reference photo that i had which is kind of like a stone brick one so i picked this shorter one from seasons i think and plop it in there eventually <laughs> again i'm like really indecisive about building things and swatches and everything so I take forever um, and now I'm going to again take forever on putting more vines and ivy growing up the side of the house all the way around again like it was not looked after so I used a couple of pieces of ivy are from debug and then I think the rest are from vampires so I was gonna use the cottage living ones but I kind of liked the dead vines in the vampires pack so I like combined the dead ones and the alive ones from that pack and kind of just trying to blend them together and wrap it around the house a little bit so again it just looks overgrown and not taken care of and then the last thing I do is the terrain tool and I do some terrain paint so the new pack came with this pine needle kind of texture which was really cool so I start with that and I kind of make like a little path to the house because I I knew that like there wouldn't be any fancy stone or anything leading up to this cabin shack so I just did like a dirt path and then to kind of blend everything out I go in with I think just like the normal dirt 
and put that underneath most of the bushes and the objects because I'm assuming that they've been there for a long time just killing the grass. Oh yeah, and there's that bathtub outside too. <laughs> And that uh, grill pit right there is also from the CC pack. So the debug stove, I am assuming, is not functional. So she's going to have to cook outside when she gets there. So poor her. Um, but yeah, so I'm just killing the grass on the lot right now. And uh, I think we are coming up to screenshots. So I hope you enjoyed watching me build. And I will talk more about my character that's going to move in here and my let's play very soon so please consider subscribing giving a like leaving a comment if you like the video and see you later bye